Hello and welcome to EG Math. We will solve question number 5 of OG Verbal 2nd Edition by using EG Math 3 step process. In the first step we will understand the meaning of the sentence. In the second we will evaluate the errors in the sentence and finally we will review all the answer choices to get to the correct answer. So let's begin. Hundreds of species of fish generate and discharge electric currents in bursts or as steady electric fields around their bodies using their power either to find and attack prey, to defend themselves or also for communicating and navigating. Uh, this sentence presents a few facts about hundreds of species of fish that generate and discharge electric currents. They do so in bursts or as steady electric fields around their bodies and they use this power to find and attack prey to defend themselves or for communication and navigation. Now let us evaluate the errors in the sentence by splitting it into clauses. Well, we just have one clause here because this sentence has just one subject verb pair. Hundreds of species is the subject here while generate and discharge are the two verbs. Now this sentence contains a list of activities for which fish use the electric currents. These activities are to find and attack prey, to defend themselves and also for communicating and navigating. So we see that logically these three items are parallel to each other but grammatically they are not. For communicating and navigating is not grammatically parallel to the other lists in the sentence and this leads to the parallelism error. Also, the expression either or is used to list only two elements, but here three elements have been listed to find an attack prey, to defend themselves and or for communicating and navigating, which is not correct. So this leads to the idiom error in the sentence. Also, in the presence of or also becomes redundant. So we need to get rid of that also there as well. So these are the three errors in this sentence. Now let's run the POE to find out what's the correct answer. Well choice A is not the correct answer as we just discussed. In choice B, for finding and attacking and for communication and navigation are not parallel to defend themselves. Also uh, the um, idiom error of either or still persists because either or has been again used to list three elements. So choice B is not the correct answer. In choice C we find that to find and attack prey is neither a parallel to for defense nor to communication and navigation. So this makes choice C incorrect. In choice D we see that for finding and attacking prey and for communication and navigation are not parallel to defend. So we have a non-parallel list here and also uh, the use of also along with or is unidiomatic. Now when we use or we talk about two separate entities say group A or group B. So here uh, both the elements are independent of each other. But when we say also we mean to include one entity along with the other. If we say group A also group B we uh, mean to say about both the groups together. So also along with or is pretty contradictory. So the use of also is not correct in this choice and uh, these two errors make choice D the wrong answer. Now we are left with choice E. Well it is the correct answer because now to find an attack is parallel to defend themselves and to communicate and na navigate and also we neither have the idiom error here of either or nor we have also that was unidiomatic. So choice E as we discussed is the correct answer for this sentence. Time to take a look at the takeaway messages. Always use the expression e either or to list only two elements. Remove any expression that is redundant and uh, in the questions pertaining to parallelism we must be able to identify the correct list and ensure that all the elements in the list are logically as well as grammatically parallel to each other. The concepts tested in this sentence have been uh, covered in EG Math concepts level 1 parallelism identify and correct and level 2 subject verb words that change number.